So in this video, I'm going to cover the master cylinder on the back here. Um, in one of the last videos when I was doing the rear brake, I left that out because I was trying to figure out this reservoir. So I'll show you how I um, how I fitted that. It's actually quite easy, but there is some small modifications that have to be done. So um, yeah, let's do that. And someone commented on my previous video. Um, why don't you use one without the reservoir or with one built in? Um, so I said, geez, that's a great idea. So I did that. So I bought one. Um, the only problem was the holes didn't match up. So I'll show you. So the second one where I was landing was landing between two holes. So this one has three holes. So it's obviously designed for different types of bikes. Um, but my hole, my second hole matches up here. Um, so what I just did was I got a file and I just filed it down. Um, and now my nut can go in. And then as you can see the reservoir is actually built into it. So they're used on off-road bikes um, quite a bit. They, they don't want extra things hanging around to um, to break off the bikes. So so yeah, so I'm going to mount this as well. So that's another thing I'm going to do. Um, and I promise in the next video um, you will see a complete bike. Oh, one more thing. So this is the front uh, mudguard or fender, depending where you're living. Um, so that's the original one. I know it's wrapped in plastic. I just don't want to get it scratched. Um, and I'm, I was toying with the idea of putting that back on. Um, but then I read online that the, the CB400 is a little bit neater and it fits. So I picked up one of these. Um, now, this was very cheap. This was, I think, 15 quid or something on one of the Chinese websites. And as you can see, it comes pre-painted. And actually, the color match is identical. I, you wouldn't know any difference. It's probably not very well painted. but um, So, I'm going to fit that as well. So, that's another thing. I'm going to have to watch because it does seem to scratch very easily. Like, this paint doesn't... It seems to be very thin. Um, the only downside is paying 15 quid that they didn't paint the underneath of it. Uh, not that it really matters, but just just for clarity. There you go, that's what it looks like underneath. You can see a little bit of overspray. So they didn't actually paint the underneath of it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is a real tidy up video. Uh, and there's loads and loads of little things that I haven't done. Um, they're only small, but it'll it'll make the bike. Oh, I've also under, ordered the, the rear um, hugger. Um, so I'll see how I get on with that. I was going to make one and then I decided, you know what, there's a guy making them in Germany. I might as well order one and uh, I just bolt it on. Um, one last thing to do. So there's going to be loads of little things. Um, okay, so look, I'll, I'll get going with the, these, these few bits. And uh, yeah, hopefully in the, in the next video it'll be a finished bike. Okay, so I took it off the bike. It's just easier to um, have the camera on it. Um, so as you can see, there's there's the brake switch. Um, that works by just pulling out. So as you see there, it pulls it out. So the, engages the switch. Okay, so that's it. And there's a little adjustment here. Um, and that has a little small bracket. And then there's a pin through that um, that holds onto the back of it and obviously pushes it up. And it, this this works the same way. It just pushes straight up. Now I see one problem straight away. So okay, so I've I've bored that out. So there's two holes there. I've made it a single one. So that's fine. That'll fit. Um, but it'll go up a bit higher. So I don't think it's gonna. So firstly, this is too long. Obviously, it's made for loads of bikes. So um, so I'm just gonna have to chop this off. So I'll do that first. I'm gonna chop that off first. See, I left the two nuts so I can I can uh, smoothen out that tread with the nut. So um, otherwise, you'd have a problem trying to get a tread onto it. Okay, let's put it back on the bench. Okay, so I just left that those nuts on so I can uh, so I can I can smoothen that tread. I just filed it down a little bit just. 
no sharp edges there yeah just a little back and forth it's much harder to get the nut back on that's it okay I might have to cut a bit more I'm nearly there I think I think that's there. Okay, let me take this off. I took the pin out of this already, so. See this bracket? I mean, see what I mean? There's a little lip there. That's fine if it was going up here. But because it's going down here, it's actually going to be in the way. So I'm going to have to adjust this little bracket. Okay, so I've ground. I have to grind down this this edge here on the bracket. Um, that now fits nicely. Okay, so that's the bracket. Obviously, I just this once I uh, put it on the bike. But okay, that now looks okay. So I'll tighten this up. And um, there is another bracket that goes here, which is this one. It's for your heel. Um, so I just need to bolt that on. thing is just that pin at the bottom I'll just check was there a little washer there usually is a washer on these things okay so that's it fully assembled and um, can go back on the bike okay, that's just a fine fitment and um, I have to say these are a funny size tread they're not a Standard tread now. I haven't checked what they actually are, but uh, you won't you won't just fit any old bolt in there. And I should say, so are these above. Same, same, same conversation. over tighten these they're going into aluminium so they're very easy wreck the tread on these okay so I'll just plug it in just quickly and see if the brake light works okay so that's another little job done and um, as you could see this was quite painless uh, you know maybe good to 20 minutes to fit this um, now there is one thing outstanding is this brake line the reason I'm not connecting it up at the moment is because I'm waiting for the rear hugger to arrive and I'm not sure what way that's designed to take the brake line so I don't want to mount this and then figure out that I have to do something because I'm gonna to have to remove the brake line to remove the chain guard and um, so yeah so I'm just gonna hold off for a couple of days with that until the other yoke arrives um, this is a great little mod I really like it and um, it makes life so much neater and um, no big reservoirs or anything else so thank you for whoever suggested that in one of my previous videos in the comment section and um, that's much much appreciated um, it looks much better as well than the one I had as you can see I tried to do something with it but uh, you know it's not as nice it's not as clean and um, yeah so that's it for this video in the next video i'm gonna seal that tank on the inside use the sealer 
Um, and then that's really it, I think.